not trying to teach too much. I just want to talk with them, you know, get out there, throw with them. Um, I think now um, the chemistry is starting to get there. And I think summer is going to be huge for us because now they've been in the offense. They've seen what's going on in spring ball. Um, they understand the route concepts, the, uh, the things that we're just trying to create on offense. And I think that's going to go a long way. And I think it's going to be in our hands in this summer to really, really take a next step forward and just building confidence. I think that's the main thing about um, – that I saw the difference in from one year to the next, from 21 to 22. It's just that confidence. When you step on that field, it doesn't matter what play's called. We're going to make it work, and we're going to make a play out of it. So I think that, and I think the summer is just going to be huge for us. Do you feel like Coach and I is right-hand man and helping some of the other guys learn the offense? Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of, uh, you know, learning being done by coaches, players, everything like that. So it was nice, like I said, to understand it. And uh, I think Coach Roper and, like, myself and the quarterbacks, we've just worked so well together just – the communication that Coach Roper has with us and the questions shoot he even asked me about what's going on, you know, how maybe I've read this in the past. Um, and then, he, you know, he puts his uh, what he thinks is the best way for us to do right now, uh, especially against our defense. Our defense is uh, obviously pretty dang good. So um, there's different things that we look at on, their, on that side of the ball. But I think just overall, I guess I can be a right-hand man to him, you know, because <laughs> it does. I mean, I'm so familiar with it, but yeah, I mean, overall, I think it's been a pretty uh, easy. I really haven't been, had to be a right-hand man too much. You probably didn't know much about MJ. Just what's been your impression? Oh, MJ's great. MJ's great. The whole room's great. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty dang skilled room that I'm, I'm in. I honestly really believe that. Uh, these guys obviously have a game, game experience. Um, I, think I think their futures here is really bright. I really do. Like, these guys can ball. I'm not going to lie about that. They can really ball. Um, I haven't really seen game film. Obviously, I watched some of the bowl game. Mm -hmm. um, I've just been focusing on, you know, my feet here and getting this offense going. But, um, yeah, no, this place is in good hands, I think, with the quarterback position. They have a, they have a, they're really skilled. They can throw the ball, obviously, and I think they're just playmakers. Last year, scout team quarterback might not start. Might yeah, I know. They went down four guys and then, like, their fourth quarterback. That's, that's tough, but mm -hmm. it's, it's helpful to have. You never know when something happens. This game's just one of those games that can happen like that. So mm -hmm. having guys that can play at any time is huge. How much are your relationship with Coach and I like? Uh, Coach and I, it's, it's pretty unique, honestly. I remember, you know, freshman, sophomore year, and didn't really like him that much. You know, he really got on me, and I was young. Um, and then it started transitioning into more of like a, just a relationship instead of like I'm being told what to do and being yelled at. I just kind of take, I took the feedback, took the coaching, and uh, it's growing a lot. You know, now it's funny because we just sit around and, you know, we'll do some offensive stuff, play, game planning for practices and things like that. And he, he talks to me like a, not like a coach, but just like a normal guy. Like he's just like, "How? Oh, what do you think about this?" So, it's come a long way from getting yelled at as a freshman and sophomore to uh, him just, you know, asking me, "What do I think? What do I think about this?" And uh, kind of just giving me my uh, input on things. How much of an advantage is it that you know the other ACC teams? You know what it's like to play. Yeah, I've played you know, almost all of them. I think, besides maybe Notre Dame, which yeah. I would have had an opportunity to play in twenty one. But I and then combine that with the fact that you know, fifteen years ago, it had been sacrilege, and there were rules about going from one ACC team to another. Yeah, um, I think it's a, I think it's an advantage to know you know every ACC team the defenses they play. Um, I'm very familiar with this offense against matching up against their defenses, um, but I mean, each game you're still going to game plan. Shoot, they could be doing something different. You know, their schematics might change just based off their personnel each year. You never know what happens, um, but in general, you know they keep it pretty similar from year to year uh, on what they want to do defensively. But it's a, it's a cool, it's a good thing for me to have under my belt. Are you glad that the rules have changed where you're allowed to go from one league team to another? Uh, I mean, I don't mind. I mean, it's cool. It's going to be something, you know, I think the end of our schedule is going to be, you know, we got some big games at the end of our schedule, back to back to back. But I think we have a bye week, kind of reset ourselves and get ready to run into that one, end of the season off right. Excuse me if you answered this already, but how excited are you? You sound excited yeah. here. How excited are you to show everybody what this offense can be on, on the spring game on, on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, I just feel like I have something to prove, you know. I really want to put two great years together and there's just a chip on my shoulder. And I think this place is the best place for me to uh, prove that. Um, there's a lot of opportunity here. I think the guys are, especially on the offensive side, are itching to just be better. I feel like they, they feel like they're, you know, didn't do their part last year. So you know, we're all in this together. We're all ready to, uh, you know, hit the field. And I just think that, um, that eagerness on offense is a big deal of what we th I think we can uh, be special on offense this year. Understanding that last year didn't go the way you wanted. Were there things in that pro style offense that you're like, okay, I'm glad I did that? Or, or oh, was yeah. It, yeah. What plenty. Was I mean, there's plenty of things that you know you, you don't get a chance to do and you don't get to rep in games. And I got to do that all. Um, obviously, it didn't go as way we planned on it, but having those reps, having that terminology, and just being able to transition from two different offenses pretty easily now, I think, um, it's huge. So uh, 
yeah, last year wasn't a wasn't a failure. You know, you don't look at it that way. It's just I look at it as success, things I wouldn't have saw or got taught. Uh, and I can take that forward, but now this year is all about production, being productive, and you know just putting our best foot forward, and you know going to make plays out there on the field as an offense. What have you heard in terms of NFL outlook and? Um... Ah, shoot, I don't even care about NFL right now. <laughs> I gotta, we gotta put, we gotta put things together on the field in college right now, and I'm excited to do it with these guys. So uh, it's not even a thought in my mind. It's it's all about you know these guys here and you know having a great season. And once that once that all gets done, then the, everything else will handle itself. And when it was time to transfer, obviously the connection with Coach and I mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense here. You had Coach Beck at, at Syracuse. Did you talk to him at oh, all? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Coach Beck called me, obviously, but I felt like this was the best place for me. I felt like Coach Doran had the best culture here. I felt like this place was just – it was just it. I felt like it was just the right place for me. I really don't know. There was obviously other schools involved, but this was it. And I just felt it. This is where I knew I was, needed to be, so that's why I decided to come here. And I know your focus is on football, but when you get here, what are some of the things that teammates show you in terms of uh, places to eat or – Oh, yeah. shoot. It was, it was just random stuff. We were just running around. Like, I was just running around, especially myself when I first got here because obviously came late and all that stuff. So it was, it was a little chaotic when I first arrived here. Um, so it was all over the place. Now I'm, I'm very settled in now. So it's, a, it's like a home now to me. I'm just used to living away from home. So being here is no different than, you know, obviously in Virginia. So it was, it was an easy transition, though. They, did a really, they helped me a lot on the transition.